Okay, uh, the golden rule of inequalities. This is really, really important. I'm going to tell you what the rule is, and we're going to do some work together later exploring why this is the rule. Please start off with the word whenever. You. And this is where I'm going to change colors because this is where the golden rule comes in. Whenever you multiply or what? Divide. Divide. Oops, I forgot to change back. <laughs> Both sides of an inequality. by a, in all caps, negative number. Okay, so the full statement, whenever you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you must flip the inequality symbol. This is different from our flip-flop for order. This is a rule about when we're simplifying and trying to get the variable by itself, if we ever multiply or divide by a negative, the symbol flips, and we will explore together why. But today, we're gonna get the steps down. Step one. Get the variable by itself on one side of the inequality. And if you can help it while you solve, you want to try to get it on the left side. Step two is check the order. And what do we want the order to be? Variable, symbol in the middle, constant on the right. If it's not in that order, you refer to your flip-flop page and you flip-flop it. Step three, circle the number on the number line. Step four, you ask yourself a question. I want you to write it down even though it will make no sense to you yet, but it will soon. Open circle or closed circle? <coughs> and in step five, we shade the graph appropriately. Now we're going to fill in this open circle, closed circle with some symbols and then we're going to do an example and then we're going to do even more with this idea of open closed circles because it's really important in the graphing. Open circles are going to be less than, greater than, not equal to. Closed circles are everything that has an equal in it. Less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or the straight up equal sign. Okay, 
This is a PDF that I got from somebody else, and if I could, I would change this by moving it up just a little bit. I find that I need to write kind of small to make this happen. So take a look back at the first thing we glued in today. We're going to be following these steps. Is this a word problem that we have to define the variable? No. Do we need to rewrite it because it's already on this paper? No. We're, step, we're going to step three. Is there distributive property here? No. Um, can we eliminate the constant term? Well, there's variables on both sides, so we could eliminate this five. And we end up with negative 3x is less than or equal to 13 minus 5 is 8 plus x. What should we move next? The x. We want to get it over with the negative 3x. So we're going to subtract it. Does this feel just like what we've been doing with equations? Okay. Now I have on the left side negative 4x is less than or equal to 8. Okay? The variable's not quite by itself, but we're pretty close. What do we need to do as our last thing here? We're going to divide by a negative 4. That means we have to do the golden rule. We're going to end up with x is going to be positive, but instead of a less than or equal to, we're going to have a greater than or equal to. And 8 divided by negative 4 is going to give us negative 2. Okay, so did we get the variable by itself? Yeah. Is the order correct? Yeah. So we don't need to flip it again. We're going to circle the number on the number line. But first, this number line is blank, so we need to fill some numbers in. We're trying to get negative 2, so we should just decide here, like, let's make this 0. 0, 1, 2. These number line answers are like a zoom in. It's just a quick snip of the number line. We don't have to be ultra detailed about it. And then I'm going to use my highlighter because I just find it easier on these thick number lines than using a pencil. Okay, what number are we circling? Okay, and step four, is it open or closed? Why is it closed? It's greater than or? That means that negative two could be an answer for this. Negative two is greater than or equal to negative two. All of the other numbers that are to the right are also going to be true. This is why the order matters. Doesn't the symbol look like an arrow? What direction is it heading? So this is where we shade. What we're doing by shading that is saying that anything including negative 2 into the right of negative 2 would make this inequality true. Thumbs up if that makes sense. Okay. Next up, I need you to find the paper that looks like this. 